okay, how to put your DVDs on your iPad. So if anyone's taking a trip, um, you know, you have these, I have, here, here we go, I have this old uh, DVD, portable DVD player and a stack of DVDs. It's a giant mess uh, between iPad, iPhone, iPods. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to put my personal collection onto my iPad. And that's what I'm going to walk you through in this video. You can see videos, I have a couple movies, and I'm going to show how you do it. They're from my personal collection. These are, aren't anything ripped off, they're mine. So here are the steps. We're going to install a program called Handbrake. That's going to do the DVD ripping. We're going to have to get a DLL out there to do the decryption. We're going to rip the DVD to the PC. At that point, the, the movie is on our PC. There's really a couple ways we could do then get it to our iPad. I'm going to show how to add it to the iTunes library and then sync iTunes with my iPad to get it on there. Now, of course, people say there's plenty of other ways, like uh, Dropbox and other type of things, but I'm, I use uh, iTunes and syncing. Okay, so here's Handbrake. I've already downloaded and installed it. Just Google it. You can find it. It's free. You load your DVD in your PC, and you're going to just leave everything defaulted. You don't need to do anything. This is a fresh install. You go to Source. You need to pr actually press it down. This is kind of interesting. You click. You hold it down. Move the mouse. Once it finally comes up, the DVD is still loading. So I'm going to click and then I'm going to release instead of clicking again. And this is a Harry Potter movie, and you can see it's scanning the title. And what we're going to run into here is uh, you know, the digital rights management type thing. So Source, it finds the movie, but there's no chapters. So this did not work, so it could not decrypt it. So what we have to do is get this DLL I've listed it here for decryption. Simply Google it. You'll find it out there. And what you're going to do is download it. And then you're going to copy it. So you have downloaded here, copy it. And then you're going to paste it to the folder that Handbrake is installed in. So simply paste it and then you're going to rename it from uh, just remove the dash 2. So library DVD CSS dash 2, remove the 2. You don't need to register or do anything, you just rename it, close this, restart handbrake. Okay, now we're going to go and uh, scan that source again and we're going to, this is where we're going to be able to rip the DVD to the PC. So now this time you'll see it scans it, and when it's finished, you'll see title, you'll see chapters, so you know that this worked this time, so it's able to read the movie. Again, leave all the defaults, um, browse, and this is where you're going to save the movie. I'm going to call it uh, Harry Potter HP1.mp4, and then you just click start, and then it's off. And now it is going to rip it to your PC. Okay, at this point, your DVD is now on your PC as a file. You can watch it on your PC if you want. You can copy and paste. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm going to show on these next steps how to get to your iPad. Now, there's a lot of options like fair file sharing programs like Dropbox or Sync, or you can sync with iTunes. I'm going to demo iTunes. So we're going to open up iTunes here. And I haven't even connected my iPad. I'm just going to go to iTunes. I'm going to go to Add File to Library. Right now, iTunes does not see that file that I just, uh, that DVD that I just ripped up. So I have to navigate to where I saved it to. Uh, HP1 was the name, so I'm going to select that. Click open, and now it'll be displayed in my iTunes library. Um, I'm in the unwatched, I believe, tab, not tab, but section. So it'll show up there, and if you go to home movies, it will be displayed uh, under there. By default, it doesn't recognize it. It looks like a movie that I just saved, like if I took my camera. So HP1, there it is. So now I'm going to plug in my iPad. And you see I have a couple movies and TV shows already here. Okay, so I've got uh, X-Men and E.T. And the key thing in here is, is you want to make sure these are already in your library and you may erase them if they're not a part of your library. So you have to be careful there. So now you can see I'm back to iTunes. I find my iPad listed on the left-hand column. And I'm going to navigate to movies. Now, my movie is there, HP1. It's not checked. And you see X-Men is checked and um, and E.T. at the top is checked. So they're there. Now I can uncheck them and it will remove them from the iPad or I can leave them there if I want. So for demo purpose, purposes I'm going to uncheck X-Men. I'm checking HP1. So now I'm going to sync it and HP1 will come on to my iPad and will remove X-Men. Now if you don't have these movies, or if you have other movies that aren't part of your library, you need to get them on your computer first and then sync, otherwise you may 
um, you may lose them. So now I'm back to my iPad. You can see I'm syncing. Boom, X-Men is gone. And it added home movies because HP1 is a part of home movies and not movies <laughs> as of right now. So um, right now there's no icon. And now you can see the icon that comes on. And I can click on that and I can start watching uh, that movie right from my iPad now that it's done syncing. Okay, now you may have noticed uh, the we got the movie, but it was a part of a home video, so we want to get that into the movie category. So what you do is you go back to iTunes. Now, see there in home movies, have some home movies, and here we go. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go get info. I'm going to navigate over to the options tab. There's a drop down in the middle, and I, and it's home. Movies, and I'm going to select from that drop down uh, movies. Media kind is what the name of the drop down is. So now I've changed it. Now it's located in movies. I resync, and you will see when the sync is done, it'll move it to movies. And, and that home movies is gone. And that's it. So now it's really convenient to have your movies on your iPad instead of lugging around DVDs everywhere. Hope this helps.